YouTube, what's going on? This is professional Madden player and competitive Madden analyst slash commentator T Davis, and today we're breaking down one of the most underrated routes in Madden 21. This route's been good for the last few years, and people don't really use it. We're going to be talking about the stick and nod route. That's right, you know, usually you find this route uh, in pretty much every playbook. It has at least one formation that has this route on the play, um, usually to the tight end in the slot. And you want good route running, good speed. It's going to be able to beat man to man. It's going to get behind zones, underneath zones. It's definitely one of the best routes. Uh, that you can add into your offense. So I highly recommend uh, checking out this video because we're going to break down exactly how to run it and what you need to look for within your offense when using it. So make sure you guys subscribe here to the channel for the best pro player tips, gameplays, ebooks, and much more. Also, an ebook available, defensive ebook, the multiple playbook. Check that out in the link in the description below. Also, stream on twitch.tv slash tdavisbrand. Also, have coaching sessions available, 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you want to improve as a competitive Madden player or just a Madden player in general. You want to just get better start to play and win online, rank games, money games, whatever the case may be, coaching sessions will definitely help you improve. Um, yeah, so stick and nod route today. We're looking at the Detroit Lions playbook, but you can find this route in any playbook in the game. Just check your playbook. It's probably in most formations. Um, but that's it, guys. Let's jump into today's video. The stick and nod route, one of the most underrated routes in Madden for the last few years. YouTube, what's going on? Your boy T. Davis back again today with another tip. And today we're breaking down the most underrated route in Madden. This route has been good, you know, for the last few years. It really can beat every coverage in the game. And I'm talking about the stick and nod route. So here, um, we're in the empty Y flex formation. And I'm not a huge fan of this formation, but this, we're just breaking down this route. And this route is, is, is just super underrated, one of the best every year, like I said, but you can find this route in a lot of different formations. So the play, the, the formation, the playbook doesn't matter. You can pretty much find this route in every single playbook in the game. So uh, a lot of times it's in some good like trip sets. Um, so I don't really prefer 5 wide, but I just wanted to find uh, in the Detroit playbook, and it has it in this 5 wide. So, But I'm sure this, this, this route is in a lot of other plays and playbooks that you like. So check out your favorite playbook and see if you have the stick and nod route preferably from the tight end. So let's go ahead and get into it. You want a tight end, obviously, with good speed, good route running. As you can see here, we have TJ Hawkinson, who is pretty solid. Not not great, but he's not the worst. You can do definitely um, a lot worse than him. So like I said, though, you want some speed. You want some good medium route running uh, for this route, um, especially if you want to beat man-to-man. -man. And you, as you guys know, in Madden 21, man-to-man -man has been very prevalent. It's been very popular in the meta as far as in the community. Um, but like I said, this route can also get open uh, underneath or behind zones as well. So we're going to break it down versus both here. First, we'll take a look at it versus man-to-man. -man. We'll just come out in a basic cover two man as, as we see that a lot this year. as one of the popular defenses, like I said. So taking a look at it here, a lot of times also, you know, you're going to get matched up against a linebacker and, and or even a safety in some of these spots. And if you play regs, um, you're going to have a great mismatch a lot of the times if you use a team with a good tight end like the Chiefs or even the Niners, or the uh, just, there's a bunch of teams. And then in Mutt, get that Vernon Davis, get that um, uh, Jermichael Finley, and I believe there's another good tight end too. So there's a couple good tight ends in Mutt that you definitely want to get on your squad to be able to run this route with, with a lot of speed and route running. Um, and then, you know, obviously in on all Madden, you're going to want 85-plus route running at the medium uh, threshold. And then in all pro which if you play mutt head-to-head -head, is all pro, you want 90-plus medium route running for this. So the route running threshold is important, and speed is also important. So let's go ahead and take a look at it straight man-to-man, -man, cover to man. Um, he ran it kind of, he kind of went crooked there. I think he got bumped on the line, so let's try that again because that's not what it's supposed to look like. I'm not sure what happened right there. But he goes straight up like that. Look at that. Look at that separation he gets. I mean, that is just insane separation. Um, and that was versus safety right there, so... As you can see, we have him on Duggar, who has good speed as a safety. And a lot of times you can throw like this as well. You're going to be able to... There's no, you're never going to throw a pick on this row, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, Usually he's going to torch him man-to-man. -man. He runs it a little weird right there again, but as you can see, he gets about three steps on him. I think he's getting bumped a couple times here on the line. And that's kind of setting him off. But usually it's right up the seam like that. Boom, look at that separation. Big play up the seam. And it's similar to real life. You know, in the NFL, you see a lot of these seam routes up the middle, the stick and nod routes, the vertical seams um, to guys like Gronk over the middle that has been so popular in the NFL. So we're kind of using that again here. Once again, he cuts. Boom, look at that. Oh, see, he, he for some reason, he's getting bumped, though. So we, obviously, in that situation, you don't want to throw it. You kind of want to wait about another step or two. Here it is again. Hawkinson 
big play up the seam. So we'll do it one more time here, then I'll get into the replay, how what it looks like versus man to man, and then we'll get into it versus a zone defense. One more time though. Boom, look at that. Just torches his man one on one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the replay. It's it's basically like a little short double move. Um, it's a little out and up kind of cut. And as you can see, I mean, no one really can guard this uh, with, with all the speed that we have in the rut running. So as you can see, it's just a little kind of get off the line, cut out, boom, cut up right immediately. And right when he cuts up, that's when he gets that speed burst to kind of beat the man-to-man. -man. And we have that separation where we're able to fit it in before the safety gets there. So if they were to start using this, that's when you can start mixing in some other nice route combos. You know, you can kind of start to mix in a slant underneath here with Amendola. A slant or a drag, a little in route, maybe have a streak going vertically to watch to bring the safety back. So then you kind of have a high low read with the slant and the stick and nod, and then maybe you could even send one of these guys out on like a drag underneath as like your bailout as well. So once they do start to worry about this route, that's when you can really mix in other things to make it even more uh, dangerous within your offense. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now versus zone coverage. Um, like I said, a lot of times for a zone in this, you can make it like a decoy, but you can also throw this route as well. So I'll go ahead and, and do a basic cover three, because we've seen lately cover three has been pretty popular here in the community. So we'll go ahead just with a basic kind of drag underneath. So if it's not if it's there as a decoy, then boom, we can check down to our drag. So you kind of want to have that high-low read, especially versus zone. Um, but a lot of times you will be able to fit it in there versus zone. Let's see if we can get it in there right here. See, see you can see right there. Some, don't really want to throw that. He's getting bumped, so I don't want you don't want him to get bumped, as you can see there, which he gets that weird angle coming uh, to the left right away. So I want him to go straight up like that, and you can kind of fit that in there sometimes underneath the zones, especially if they do use their zone drop sliders um, and they play it back. You can fit that in underneath, and sometimes you can fit it in over the top of them, like right about here. So you can send a streak to the left side, kind of send out the zones. If I have some time here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try to fit it in there if we get some time. So you have that high low read. Boom! You wait for that clear out, and then we're able to complete it there to Hawkinson. Use that big body for the aggressive catch. So you want to have the clear out with the with the or one of those streaks over there, and then I like to do a little high low with the hitch. And uh, whatever the, is kind of open, we're gonna throw. So as you can see there, the hitch is wide open. We're gonna take that. But if they were to bite uh, down on the hitch, playing maybe five yards with their zone hooks, that's when we can really attack and uh, hit him upfield to the tight end route here. So as you can see one more time, let's try to fit it in there. We fit it in there. See, so there's a little nice little space. Right when he passes that linebacker, as I will go ahead and break it down here in the replay, but as he passes the linebacker in these hook curls, um, right when he gets past these two linebackers here, about 10, 15 yard distance, right about now, that's when we're going to be able to have all this space. So you want to be careful. If you, if you have Gunslinger with your quarterback, it's going to make it even better to be able to throw this. Um, but if not, you can sometimes low ball it. See all that space? I mean, there's no one within 5, 10 yards of him because of that clear out route and because we had the route underneath with the hitch. So you just be able to throw it into that space right there for a big play. So make sure you guys are mixing in the stick and nod route. You can find it in a lot of different uh, plays, a lot of different formations, a lot of different playbooks within Madden 21. So go through your playbook, try to find this route to the tight end, the stick and nod route, one of the most underrated routes in Madden every single year. But... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. It's been another tip here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe for the best pro player tips, gameplays, ebooks, and much more. I appreciate all you guys' support, man. Until next time, your boy T. Davis is out.